Hi, everyone. My name is Chris, and I am the academic coordinator and instructor with the CalTeach program at UCI. I'll talk more about CalTeach in a minute, but I just wanted to introduce myself and welcome you to this presentation on how do I become a K-12 math teacher? All right. So um, here's our agenda that what I'm going to go through so you can kind of speed through and, and get to the parts that you are most interested in. So what are the requirements of being a teacher for being a teacher in California? What is the CalTeach program at UCI? Um, are there other credential programs at UCI? Uh, where else can you get a teaching credential? Where can you teach when you finish a credential program? And then after your credential, then what? All right, here we go. Okay, so to be a teacher in California, there are some requirements. You have to have a bachelor's degree and a teaching credential. Um, there are two possible uh, pathways or credentials in California for K-12 teachers. One is the multiple subject credential, which allows you to teach all subjects in a K-5 setting. This is like your elementary school teacher who taught you English and math and history and PE or you can be in a self-contained middle school classroom, which means that um, you're not just teaching math or you're not just teaching science, you're actually teaching all the subjects just like your elementary teacher um, was. The other type of credential that you can get is a single subject credential. And this is, um, you can teach middle school and or high school, depending on kind of the credential that you have in this area. And you will teach, um, just your content area. So if you are a math major and you get a single subject math credential, you can teach math, all levels of math from kind of like sixth grade through through 12th grade. So, um, and I'll talk more about like kind of uh, the requirements. If, what if you weren't a math major, but you still want to teach math? So I'll talk about that in a bit. All right. So where do you get a... Um, credential in California. So there's, you have to have a bachelor's degree, but it does not have to be in the subject you will teach. So for example, um, you could be like a um, English major, but you really love math and you want to teach math. So you graduate with your English degree, but if you take a math exam and get into a credential program, where you student teach in mathematics, you can then teach math in the state of California. Um, there are some exams that you have to require, that are required for credentialing. And a lot of programs require these exams before you even enter their credential programs. This is kind of like, would be your senior year of um, at UCI. And then you would take these exams to enter a credential program. So you don't always have to take an exam. So if you see on the screen, um, you have to have what's called the CBES, which is the uh, California Basic Educational Skills Test. It's math and English um, or equivalent coursework. So there are some classes at UCI that count for this exam. Um, your AP scores, if you have a passing AP score in English um, and or math, which could be uh, calculus or statistics, um, then those count as the CBEST um, equivalency or your SAT or ACT score. So there's certain thresholds. If you um, got a certain score on either of those, then you don't need to take the CBEST exam. You can use your scores as equivalency. Um, then there's this the CSET. So this is your subject matter competency. Um, right now in the state of California, we just changed last July that if you are a math major, you no longer have to take the math test. Um, if you graduate from an accredited university with a degree in the content area in which you teach, you do not have to take that exam. So for example, if I graduate from UCI in math, but I want to teach physics, I would have to take the physics exam. But be, if I want to just teach math, I wouldn't need to take the exam. My degree would count for my subject matter competency. Okay, moving on. All right, so what are the different types of credential programs in California? Um, we have a one-year credential program, and that's in single subject or multiple subjects. So generally, you start your student teaching in the fall, and then um, you would do observations in the fall, and then you would move into the spring where you would actually do your student teaching. Some universities have what are called spring starts, where you do your observations in the spring, and then you actually 
teach, a student teach in the fall, and then you get your uh, teaching credential at the end of the fall uh, semester. Uh, there's credential programs with a master's degree in education. So you can uh, apply to for a master's program where you get your credential at the same time as well. So this one is you're getting your master's degree and your credential at the same time, but it's in education. And so there's um, lots of different pathways for getting your master's as a teacher, but this one would be in education. Um, so it wouldn't allow you to be move on to something like a, a assistant principal or a principal because that's a different kind of master's that you would need to get. Um, but it's a good step in in learning a little bit more and getting deeper into the um, science behind uh, education. Uh, there are residency or intern credential programs. These are often where you've been hired by a, a district or they are going to hire you and you are teaching while you are doing your credential at the same time. And then we have these blended programs, which is like our CalTeach program at UCI. So our program is you're getting your bachelor's degree and your single subject credential at the same time. So it's a blended program because you're doing two things at once, the credential and, and the um, bachelor's degree. So you don't have to, after you graduate, you don't have to do that one year program after. All right, so those are the different types of credential programs. All right, so CalTeach, a little bit more of what's going about what's going on at UCI. We offer this four year option of getting your bachelor's degree with a credential. Um, if you start our program at the end of your sophomore year or your junior year, you can stay an extra year and it would take five years. Uh, UCI is the only UC that offers this program. Berkeley has a similar program, but theirs takes five years. There's um, is like the four years of the bachelor's and then the credential added on, but you're still an undergrad. Um, so we offer this in biology, chemistry, earth and environmental science, math, and physics. So these are the different um, core content areas where you can get your bachelor's degree and teaching credential at the same time. We're all together. All of our classes are together with all those majors in um, the CalTeach program, so we get to learn and work with each other. So it's not a separate program for each major. We are just one program that houses all of those majors and all and three schools at UCI work together to make this happen. And that's the School of Bio Sci, the School of Physical Sciences and the School of Education. So we are housed actually in three different schools at UCI, which is is really awesome to have the support of three different schools on campus. All right, so here's the benefits of, of the CalTeach program at UCI. So our first two classes are introduction to teaching classes. This is no commitment to the program. You can try out and see if teaching is for you. Um, so our first course is uh, Physical Sciences 5 or BioSci 14. It's offered every quarter and it's generally offered two to three different times each quarter. There's a daytime Tuesday, Thursday class and a Thursday night section. And we even have a remote section that we offer um, in fall and winter quarter. This is a three unit class where you attend seminars and we talk about like, what is it like to be a teacher? And then we do some lessons um, in math and science at like the elementary level. So we start at the elementary, even though we wanna be middle and school, middle and high school uh, teachers, the class starts at the elementary level. And we also put you out in an elementary classroom where you get to do field work at a local school with a teacher and their elementary students. It's 25 hours of field work. We help you with the um, placement. We have funds for transportation assistance if needed. Um, it's really fun. I think every one of our students says that the the best part of this class is actually being out with the kids. They just love being with the kids and they love this whole new um, perspective on teaching and seeing kind of like the behind the scenes and what teachers do all day and what it's really like to be a teacher. And then if you want to continue on, there's a second course where we go into a middle school. This one is also offered every quarter. Um, so that's the second course and there's no commitment to the CalTeach program. This is still just kind of like, is teaching the right career for me? And a lot of students decide like, oh gosh, this is this is not quite the career for me. And that's great. You know, you discovered that this is not a career path you want to pursue. Other students 
get in the classroom and they weren't really sure. And then they're like, wow, this is, this is fantastic. This is where I belong. I love working with kids. I love the school environment. And, and they really um, embrace uh, being a teacher. And then they sign up for the CalTeach program to get their credential with their bachelor's degree. Um, so the other benefit of this is you, when you graduate from UCI, most of our CalTeach students already have jobs. So in the senior year, we work on resumes and practice interviews, and then we help um, you apply for jobs out in the field. A lot of schools and districts hire kind of in the spring of the senior year, and most of our students have uh, jobs lined up, ready to go for their first year teaching right after graduation. So it's really nice. So you don't have to apply to a graduate school for um, a credential. So it's really a nice, a nice package all in one. All right, so a little bit more about CalTeach. Um, some of the things about CalTeach that you should know if you're thinking about taking some classes with us is we have um, our four core commitments, which are, are you can read these uh, later, I'm not gonna read them out for you, but we attend to equity, equity for all learners. And what does it mean to have an equitable classroom and to provide equitable instructions for, uh, instruction for all learners in your classroom, a social cultural emphasis. Uh, we know that um, knowledge is not distributed evenly amongst students in schools, and we want to make sure that that is recognized and attended to. We want our student teachers to practice um, all the best pedagogy around teaching and learning in the classroom. So we spend a lot of time um, doing readings and discussions and, and field assignments where we look at the actual practice of teaching and what makes for great lessons and what makes for an exceptional teacher and how uh, teachers can best support all learners in their classrooms. And then our fourth um, commitment is professional growth. We want to instill in our future teachers that we are continually learning. I have finished 27 years in teaching recently, and I'm going on to 28 and I'm still learning. I'm still learning how to be a better teacher. I'm still reading articles. I'm still going to professional development. There is always work to be done as a teacher. And we want to um, instill that in our graduates and help them to become leaders at their school sites, to be able to advocate for their students. Um, and to how, learn how to work with communities, um, parents, guardians, businesses in the surrounding communities in which, in which they teach to help make a difference in, in the students' lives in those areas. All right, are there other credential programs at UCI? Yes, we do have two other programs besides the CalTeach program, and they are both post-baccalaureate programs, which means that you have to um, graduate with your bachelor's degree and then apply to grad school at UCI. They are both excellent programs. One of them is that multiple subject masters of arts and teaching. So the multiple subject, remember, is kindergarten through fifth grade. And so we do have a lot of Caltech students that take those first couple of classes and they fall in love with elementary children. They fall in love with the elementary school. And that's awesome. It, we don't at CalTeach, we want everyone to find their best fit of where they really feel they belong in teaching. And we have many students that end up in the, the multiple subject program at UCI. We also have the single subject um, of Masters of Arts in Teaching at UCI. And this is for those that want to teach uh, middle school or high school in a particular content area. They have uh, many different content areas besides math and science, English, uh, history, um, uh, music, visual and performing arts, world language. Um, so there's lots of different uh, pathways uh, to getting a teaching credential in the single subject um, program. It is a 15 month program. You start in the summer, you student teach over the course of um, an academic year, and then you finish up the following summer. But when you graduate from that program, you do have that California preliminary credential and a master's degree in education. Um, if you want more information about why you would or wouldn't want to do a master's program at the same time as getting your credential, I'd be happy to meet with any of you that, that has questions about that. 
All right, so what if I wanna teach more than one subject? So let's say I am a math major, but I really like physics too. And I think I might wanna teach a couple periods of physics and a couple periods of math. Well, I'm telling you right now, physics is really in high demand. Um, physics is becoming a norm class in high schools right now where most students are actually being required to take physics for, for graduation or um, you might, have remembered maybe when you were in high school, there were only a couple of physics classes or maybe one or two physics teachers. They're really looking for more physics teachers at each school. So anyway, so let's say I'm a math major and I want to teach physics as well. What I would do is I would have to take that CSET exam in physics as well. And then I would also have to take, take a science methods course at a university or college that um, prepares me in the pedagogy of teaching science. Um, in the CalTeach program, if you're a math major, you learn about the best practices of teaching mathematics. You learn a little bit about good teaching in science, but um, to be able to teach a different content area, you have to also take a methods class. So even if I'm a math major and I wanna teach English, I would take the English CSET, and then I would have to find an English methods course that would, um, allow me to add that on to my credential, my mathematics credential, and then I would be authorized to teach in two content areas. I am actually authorized to teach in two content areas. I can teach in social sciences or history, and I can also teach in mathematics. And I took um, CSET exams to allow me to teach both of those, uh, although I really have mostly taught math in my whole teaching career. So. All right, what if I'm a transfer student? Can I complete the CalTeach program? Yes, absolutely. Um, sometimes if you're finding our CalTeach program in your third year or your junior year at UCI, um, it, means, it might mean staying another extra year to get in the sequence of courses because our courses are um, sequential. You cannot take them simultaneously. They One builds on the other. Um, so you have to take them in a sequential manner. If you are a transfer student, or if you're a community college student right now, we do have cross enrollment in that very introductory class. And if you get that introductory class and maybe one other class um, in before you cross enroll, or you enroll at UCI officially, you can be on track to graduate with the credential and the degree in two years as well. So we do have a good cross enrollment program. Please contact um, our counselor, Cheryl, her email is on the screen right now, um, and she can help you with getting started and cross-enrolling in our PS5, BS14 class. Um, and we actually do have funds to help pay for those in cross-enrollment fees at UCI. All right, um, so what else can I do with a teaching credential? Well, generally, with your teaching credential, you're gonna teach for a few years. Um, before you can move on to any of the jobs that are listed below. But after a few years of teaching, there's lots of different opportunities for teachers to um, move into different areas of education. Now, you've probably had many teachers that have stayed in the classroom all their entire career. You may have had teachers that have been teaching 30, 35 years, and they have stayed at that same school site. That's awesome. That's a career trajectory that they chose. Some um, of you may want to move into more leadership type roles. So uh, there are at many school districts or at schools what is known as a TOSA. This is a teacher on special assignment. You are still a classroom teacher, but they pull you out of the classroom for a couple of years to where you would go around and assist other teachers, run professional development um, for your district, for math teachers, and um, in general support the teachers at, at school sites. Um, another direction that you can move into is into school administration where you could become an athletic director, activities director, assistant principal, and then principal, or even move into a role at the district office. Um, for those, you do need a master's degree with an administrative credential. So if you're thinking that's a direction that you might want to go in, then you would look for a master's program where you can get an administrative credential on top of your teaching credential. 
Um, and then there's also opportunities to work um, at the district offices as a content specialist or as technology specialist or um, a curriculum specialist or testing specialist. So there's lots of different roles at um, district offices that many teachers end up moving into. So there's a lot of different opportunities for teachers to um, to take advantage of if they if they don't think that you know staying in the classroom for 30 plus years is for them. Uh, all right, so some questions about actual UCI graduates. What, what are they doing? What's our track record with the UCI CalTeach program? Well, 90% of our CalTeach alumni that have started teaching are still teaching, and we've been going since um, 2012. So we have many of our graduates now are TOSAs or administrators. Um, so they are moving into those leadership roles at their school sites. More than 30, I'm, I'm sorry, more than 70% of our um, student teachers are teaching in high need, uh, low income schools. This is a focus of our program in all and almost all of the field work placements that we do in our program are in these high need, low income schools where we are learning to best support students who um, live in poverty or perhaps do not speak English as their first language um, and learning how to best support them in making sure that they're having equitable access to all of the resources and curriculum and standards in California. All right, we also have um, some alumni that teach for a bit and then get jobs in the education sector. So they look for jobs in different different areas. And like we have one of our alumni is now working for Desmos. Some of you may have heard of Desmos before, but it is a, a platform that a lot of math teachers use. Some of you may remember your math teacher using Desmos and you using Desmos in, in high school, but he's now a programmer for Desmos and he's making these really cool lessons for Desmos. Um, so there's different, different avenues that teachers uh, can take. All right. Uh, do you need a credential to teach in a private school? What if you want to go back and teach in a private school that you went to? No, you do not need a credential to teach in a private school. The private schools are under different, a different set of regulations than public schools are in California. In California, to teach in a public school, you need to be credentialed in the subject matter for which you are teaching. That's a law. Uh, but in, in private schools, that is not the case because they are privately funded. They are not funded by funds from the state of California. All right, uh, there are two different tracks of um, math uh, education at UCI. And you may be wondering, okay, what is the difference between these two different educational tracks that I have a choice of at UCI? So the specialization in mathematics for education, it, um, this, sequence of classes focus on courses that are specifically useful for mathematics teachers, but you're not getting the credential at the same time. So this one would be you're thinking like, yeah, I think I want to maybe go into teaching, but maybe not right away. Or I'm going to look for a master's program with my credential or something like that. So you're not getting the credential at the same time. The concentration in mathematics for education uh, with secondary teaching certification, this is the bachelor's plus the credential program at the same time. And when you graduate, you will have your bachelor's degree in mathematics plus your single subject teaching credential, which means you can get hired in a, in a middle school or high school right after graduation. So that is the difference between these, these two tracks at UCI besides the, the regular math major tracks that UCI offers. All right, if you have more questions, feel free to please reach out to me. My name and email address is at the bottom of the screen. I'm Chris again. Um, we are in the Calteach office, which is across from lot 16, kind of uh, by bio, uh, or NatSci one and two. We're out in that single story trailer, drop by and say hello to us, ask us questions. Um, Cheryl is our CalTeach coordinator of student services. She's kind of um, our counselor for CalTeach and she can help set up, answer any questions that you want and help you maybe 
decide like, okay, I'm going to, I want to switch from the math major to the math, the concentration or the specialization, right? And she can help you with all of that. Um, we can also answer any questions about other credential programs, cross enrolling, if you're a um, community college student right now. And then if you want more information about our UCI post BAC programs, there is, um, they have a great, fantastic website that it uh, takes you to either the multiple subject or the single subject program and really explains what their programs are all about. Um, I have to say that all three of our programs on the campus, we are a social justice oriented programs. So, um, and you will see that from our websites. And then there is the Calteach website there also. So go calteach.uci.edu. All right, thank you.